Hi, I'm Tassel Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to show you how to make an anti-pollution cream. Now this is a perfect product if you have been out in the environment or the elements. So it's really good for wearing after the sun or before going out in the sun or going out in any type of climate. It's loaded with really good antioxidants. So it's going to help uh, protect the skin from the oxidative stress. This is going to be more popular in Asian countries where they deal with more heavy smog. Now let me show you how to put it together. Okay, so here I have my phase A ingredients. Now I've got my water here and to this I'm going to be adding this liquid here called pyro. Now this is a really cool active natural water which is made from pears. And this is by Bioli. So it's a Cosmos certified ingredient really good water replacement um, and it's also got really good antioxidant properties in it also. Now next I'm going to be adding a few of these aqua lipids by Burger Care. These have some really good antioxidant properties as well. So the first I'm going to be adding is the cassis. So the cassis is made from black currant seed and rose hip seed oil. So it has really good antioxidants. It penetrates the skin to strengthen the protective barrier and it also balances the sebum production. The next one I'm gonna be using is the bisabolo. So this one here has some really good anti-inflammatory properties and it also helps with a damaged skin barrier as well. And the last one here is the punica. So this one here is made from the pomegranate seed. So a really powerful antioxidant and it also helps with uh, counteracting skin aging and mature skin. And it also helps with skin regeneration as well. So these are really good active water dispersible oils here, really good ones to use in your formula and packed with really good benefits. Just gonna give that one a stir. So next is my phase B ingredients. This is gonna help build a nice structure to my cream and lots of stability. So to build the structure of my cream, I am gonna be making a slurry with the Verdescence Tara by BASF. So this has really good tolerance to electrolytes and acidic actives. It's got really good thickening and texturizing performance. And it's also got a nice smooth and natural flow behavior. So this one here is also natural and Cosmos certified. So you can use it in your natural or organic formulations. Now this is being pre-dispersed in the glycerin to help it partially hydrate, but it will hydrate better when we pop it on heat. Now, next is my star ingredient. I'm going to add this into my slurry as well to help disperse it properly. This is Algica by the Swedish Algae Factory. And this one here is going to be my anti-pollution active. It also has some really other good benefits such as improving uh, moisture retention, um, similar to hyaluronic acid. It also helps cleanse the skin by absorption of sweat, bacteria and other impurities. It's also a really good sensory modifier. It also boosts actives and it's also a SPF booster. So there are some studies here that shows that Algica protects the skin from pollution. So the results from one of the first studies showed that a cream with algica blocked an average of 24% of pollution from entering the skin. And the second and third tests resulted in 2.5 times more of the most common pollution is blocked from entering the skin by algica than hyaluronic acid and five times more compared to untreated skin as well. So really awesome active to use there. It's also Cosmos certified and also natural. So you can use this in your natural and organic formulations. So fantastic active to use there. So I'm going to pre-disperse both of them in some glycerin and then we're going to add it into our water phase. Now you just want to get those lumps out of your slurry. Make sure it's nice and smooth before we add it to our water phase. And then we're going to pop it on heat. Gonna pop that one into our ward phase. Give that one a stir. Now, as I said before, the the Tara isn't going to hydrate straight away, but it will once we add it on heat. So while that's on heat, I'm gonna to put together my oil phase. 
So I've got here my Simul Green 18 2 by Sepic. This is my high HLB non emulsifier. It's a waxy form to build structure and viscosity. I'm going to be adding some glycerol stearate citrate. I'm going to be adding a bit of caprylic capric triglycerides. This is a medium skin fill lipid. I don't want to use too heavy lipids, otherwise it's going to be a real heavy and greasy cream. And I'm also going to add a bit of shea butter as well to make it nice and buttery and cushiony. And I'm going to pop that one on heat as well. And once it's all melted and hot enough, I'm going to add it to my water face. Okay, once that's all melted, I'm going to add my oil face to my water face. And then just use high shear. Okay, so we're just going to continue stirring that for a bit. The tara won't hydrate straight away, so we are going to leave it overnight and full viscosity will be achieved the next day. But it's already starting to thicken quite a bit anyway. Okay, once that's cooled down, you can see it's already started to thicken up quite a bit. I'm gonna add my heat sensitive materials. So I've got my preservative here, so I'm just gonna add that one in. I've got some tocopherol. Now, as I said before, in an anti-pollution cream, you do want a lot of antioxidants. This is an antioxidant to protect your formula, but it also is an antioxidant for your skin. So perfect for it. I'm gonna add a little bit of essential oil as well, just from off the shelf. You can, of course, pick your own. And I'm gonna add some bilberry extract too. It's got a nice purpley grape color. Um, and that's also a really good antioxidant. Now I'm just gonna check, adjust my final pH. Now we are gonna cover it and leave this and full viscosity will be achieved the next day. Okay, and this is what my anti-pollution cream is looking like the next day. As you can see, it's a really nice, beautiful, glossy, viscous emulsion. And that's spreading really nice as well. A little bit goes a long way, it's feeling really nice smooth and buttery thanks to the shea butter but it's not overly greasy or heavy either now you can wear this as a night cream or you can also pop a little bit on during the day before you head out or underneath your makeup um, to protect your skin from those environmental stresses and the pollution. Well, there you go. That's how you put together and formulate an anti-pollution cream. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.